Ready, Phantom? Ready, Keg. Let's go! Oh, hey, it's time for the TBAP show. Everybody watch, come on, let's go. TBAP! Hello and welcome to this week's episode of TBAP. Yes, two You've best been brothers are back from the hiatus to bitch That's about right. ponies. With Good the best episode you. of the time. Yeah, the long-awaited 100th episode background character that's right episode, episode nine said, season five said fan- slice of life said phantom a dry humorless smile gnarling his lips <laughs> gnarling well let's just get into it so this episode was <sighs> pretty pretty dumb pretty fucking yeah dumb. it was really dumb pretty... i i really you know I, I both really wanted to like it and tried to go in with really low expectations. I had... Because let's be real. Let's be real. Yeah. There is not a heck of a lot of character to these characters that were in this episode. I... They, I felt like things were stretched so fucking far. <laughs> they were just trying to fill that space. Fill that space, Especially guys. with the doc. It was like, what that was, was really, all this focus on him? That was really it, terrible. It was, I, just, yeah. I just wanted him to go away. M- it, yeah, exactly. All right, now, all right. Yeah, okay. so before, before the episode started, I was reflecting yeah. to myself. I was like, you know what I bet this episode's going to be? Mm. I'll bet this episode is just going to be fan theories confirmed the episode uh, that's just, exactly let's, what let's it was just sh- except there will probably be one or two things that you know like humorously invert your expectations yeah which is exactly what happened you know everything yeah. was exactly what you thought it was the doctor is a time scientist yep derpy likes muffins wow um, what a shocker um wait did but, she eat any muffins oh wait at the very beginning the, she has she the, gave basket. the baskets right um right. Uh, there's more i can't remember Octavia oh, I, and Vinyl live together Octavia and are, and in fact, live best together friends. And then oh, my God. Music oh, my God. How about that fucking line that was like, Lyra and Bon Bon, isn't it great to have a best friend? I saw oh, you. man, we're such best friends. Like, they just beat you over the fucking forehead with it. Wow. It was okay. so horrible. Thanks for bringing that up because that yeah. le- I saw you and Gibbon talking about that in the chat. Yeah. And I really got to say that you both totally missed the point of that line because we? yeah that leads into my next thing which is you know the couple of things that they changed up because oh the fans will never see no, it see, coming there's, there's which is still... oh yeah they say oh we're such best friends we're such best friends we know each other and then yeah oh bon bon's a secret agent the whole time but wow. the whole thing was their friendship Who is real, right? Cares. I mean, it was founded on a lie, but... Okay, I'll give you there's some wiggle room there. But actually, I really did like the fact... I thought it was clever, the way they handled Bon Bon's name change. Because, like, she's actually called Sweetie Drops. They made a little <sighs> joke about it. That was funny. I like that. It's that fine. was like the one thing I did like about this episode. I'm not going to give them a fucking medal for it or anything. Kay. Well, yeah, it was a little thing, and I pre- like you know they put a no, little it thought dumb. into it. I thought it was funny. It was a funny way to handle it. Okay, I did. Okay, ref- re- correct me if I'm wrong. Did that okay. even do anything? Did that even have any relevance? To... Well, uh, no, absolutely none. Other than did I guess like help- challenging their relationship help- a little bit. Did she help fight the bugbear? By the way, and, great no, monster absolutely idea. not. Absolutely but not. The bugbear is is actually really funny, and I really like it. Yeah, the, that's a clever. The yeah, you know, it's, it's all right. It's, no, it's it was great. just um, it's maybe the best part of the episode, except the bug for, ba- Well, I yeah, just know. the concept behind the bugbear really tickles me. All you know, there was one was other funny. thing that I did like. What's um, that? Gummy. Gummy was actually pretty. Oh funny. my god, I was wrong. The best thing about this episode was that focus on Gummy, yeah. hands down, that was by far. I that was pretty yeah, good. that was amazing. That was amazing. Well, I what won't is say it? it was Did they understand the existential crisis of one forever blank? What is a cutie mark? All of that was gold. <laughs> all of it was great. Yeah, well, they every well, single cr- second well, of Gummy's monologue. The street, and then they they trip, and then they all go flying in the air, and Gummy's just watching like. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like if we we are balanced on the edge, one bugbear attack could cripple from our from obli- entire one civilization. One bugbear attack away from oblivion. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking hilarious. I, yeah, I was, loved that. That was pretty good. Um, everything else was I, I, stupid. I, uh, yeah, I, I liked the song that Vinyl and Octavia played. It sounded cool, but so nonetheless, a, the whole situation okay, was, was just okay. like, Jesus Christ. And like them like going through the street on their base cannon machine. 
Hey. And like picking up everybody, it was like, what the fuck? Oh, oh, Hugh Jelly. Hugh Jelly oh, was yeah. in this episode. Did, did you see him? I did. Hugh, appreci- my man. He's he's back. I did appreciate that Hugh Jelly was in this episode. Yeah, I like that. I mean, you know, if it's if it's you gotta see, be that's... if it's gotta be a fucking let's show everyone that's ever yeah, been in the show. That's what this episode should have been. Like two seconds on Doctor Who's, two seconds on Hugh Jelly, couple seconds on Vinyl and Octavia. If you want to confirm they live together, fine. But let's not dwell on it for like ten you, minutes. You know who did this okay you know who did Thanks, this M. right Larson. the simpsons with that you know like how like 100 short films about springfield or yeah because like called. there was where yeah, yeah where the, the thing like jumps from the one thing to the other flows between them it was like a dollar i can't remember whatever it was i don't know but yeah that was exactly the right way to do it and this was exactly the wrong way to do it it's it's it just i wasn't surprised by any of it not a e- single except thing, for the gummy thing surprised me except for gummy um, and a little bit of the Bon Bon thing, but that was just. Like let's a, talk about other. Yeah. Let's talk about other stuff that was dumb. Um, uh, let me. I got, okay, oh, when, oh, when, okay. How about the premise? I I did no, in fact mm. enjoy the premise of like there's this big fight going on. I actually think they kind of failed to capitalize on it well enough. But like there's a big fight going on, and then like everyone else is like reflecting on the main six's battle. Like that one scene with the CMC. I thought that was cool. Like to watch the background guys commenting on the the adventures that the main six get into regularly. Well, I thought you that know? sucked because Ponyville Why? isn't fucking Tokyo. It's not fucking monster. But they were making it's, a it's joke not, about it. That was the whole monster point. Monster attacks. Well, it's it's a joke that doesn't make any sense. So it isn't funny. It does make sense. It doesn't make sense. These was, things do happen. How many times? When was the Cerberus last monster attack? Discord has attacked. Okay, Tyrrick has a attacked. It, it happens. And but, this was all in the space of one but, year, Phantom. But, one but year. But all the ponies stand there and look like, oh, looks like there's another monster. That it's it's that was the joke. That was the source but of the that's joke. Not how I, I don't it think is. The, that isn't how it is. But it, exactly, the, they're doing that is absurd. That's only been which like, is the joke. That's that's a. Re- I don't even think no. No, the fact that the joke doesn't make any sense cannot be the punchline. Phantom, they're standing there commenting lightheartedly on how they're all in mortal danger. Do you really think that's how it is in real life? Is what I'm talking about going completely over your head? I'm saying that the way they talk about monster attacks as though they're a constant thing that happens, it just is not true. And so the setup and punchline don't correspond to the reality I just gave you a bunch of examples, and there's probably lots that we don't see. That no, I won't accept that. I won't accept that explanation. <sighs> Whatever. Ugh. Okay. What Other things going that on? were dumb. I just uh, have written in big letters here. So much fucking talking. So much fucking talking. Oh man. Jesus Christ! Everyone, shut the fuck when, up. When 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 Derpy when Doctor Whatever takes Derpy to his laboratory and is Jesus like Christ, goes on the some worst. Tan- tangent completely unrelated to the situation at hand just yeah. so we can thoroughly establish that he's a time he's a time researcher yeah. and then he asks her why were we here again and then she like oh that was the fully worst. elaborates explaining what has oh previously gone before that like, was they, bad uh, Jesus this is Christ. bad as if fuck. they want to make him be forgetful just don't readdress it. We remember why you're there. Yeah. Oh yep. God. And the uh, yeah. Hey, rem- remember when? Remember when <laughs> Donkey Lady <laughs> was like, yeah. "Hey, I need a wedding planner." And then that pink one's like, oh, "I haven't yeah. planned anything since Twilight came to town." Oh, oh, I um, like that. That do, was. Good. Do you want to explain that joke to me? Because I don't get it at all. Okay. Well, it's not a joke. Who it's is simply that? talking about. And I actually did like this part. Well, that's what it should have been. Like little moments like that. Okay. It was just, little moments like, like this, what exactly? Like this background pony is 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 kind of reflecting on how the world changed with the with the influx of the main six and it's kind of like in pinky pride how like this character still has talent she can do yeah, but even though there's someone around who's better who the fuck? and i just you know who it was kind of cool to show how there's like other dudes around who are good at these other stuff too I, and you know they have a life outside the main i six. have no idea what you're talking about who the fuck is she well i have no idea it was just some background pony with with three diamonds as a cutie mark. I mean, I've seen her before. I think she's the one. I've seen her who before. Twilight tells to keep watering. No, in that uh, that was Bon Bon. I think. Uh, I don't know. They're all the fucking same. These background ponies. <sighs> I wonder. Hey, ooh, I, I saw Lyra sitting like a human. Oh man! <laughs> and, then when Ly- and then when Lyra's like all the benches we've sat on. Yeah. I, by the way, I want to. I want to. That was not a sincere laugh. I want to be absolutely clear. This is <laughs> a sarcastic audience, laugh. Audience, please understand. <laughs> Our do mirth not think. is entirely. F- is entirely fake. <laughs> it's entirely ironic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ironic. Better. So that's the word I was looking for. Um, oh, shit. Man. Oh, how about, I mean, okay. 
So, I, this is a huge pet peeve. This whole episode was exactly the thing I hate, where they take a character like like the Big Lebowski ponies. Oh, God. And that showed up for like oh, one God. second they, and another thing, and was like a clever joke, and now just expound upon it for like five thank, minutes. Thank you for it's reminding me. Yeah, way to fucking take... Way to take... Okay, so a long time ago, they yeah. said to themselves, we had this <laughs> really funny background joke where we yeah, just exactly put the Big Lebowski in, and that was... Great. Yep, that was it. Well, that was t- it. time to mine that. Time to like go back <laughs> and just def- defile that by like you know exactly taking it and f- filling several minutes of the episode with it. Just killed it. Just killed all the magic. It super killed. Just it. killed super all the killed magic it. of that of that great little cameo. The only mm. yeah, I mean the only one that's and like hey, sort of excusable. Uh, what? what do we find out about them? They like to bowl. Yeah, wow. exactly. This was oh, the development. Oh, oh and that... he says, "Man." He does. He sure does. We we now know without a shadow of a doubt he is in fact Lebowski. He is. So wow, oh, what a revelation! Great. Great uh, I I kind of liked um, how Stephen Magnus did the mustache thing again. It's like that's all he's good for. I thought that was funny. I think it's just that they didn't have I mean, any I hate good the guy. ideas about what to do with him, so they just had him do that thing that happened last time. <laughs> well, him. yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, his inclusion was obnoxious. I want him to go away. But <laughs> I, I did get a little know. chuckle when he did the exact same thing as before. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm okay with him showing up. I mean, since, yeah. since that's what this episode is, just everyone... Yeah. You know, I, I, did, I did like... Um, Why didn't Big Mac get a focus? What the fuck? This was his one chance. Well, I'm pissed I've off. I've said it before. I guess it's a little too you know, major. The, the best, the best, um, the best uh, background pony episode is actually yeah, the comic. Yeah, Zen and the Art of Gazebo Repair with Big Macintosh. Great story. Yeah, and I, I yeah. Um, I, I, mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I did like. Well, can we reflect I did on how like much how better when that the was thing than is this? Careening through the town, all the like yeah. completely one one off gag characters just sort of get just like scooped up, and you see them all like, and they're all what, just yeah. There. What about that? That, that was you kind like that? of funny. Like that I, that guy in the sparkly kind of shirt. I don't I don't even know who he is. Why? But Why whatever. was someone holding the twy cane? It doesn't exist. It's not a real thing. Discord oh. made it. Oh yeah. And then it went away. Why is it here? Who ha- who had that? Some random fucking background pony. Well, oh, no, actually, I didn't even think about that, but I actually like that because tr- I'm pretty sure that Discord conjures them on Twilight and she just, like, throws it to the side. So I guess that means someone oh. just picked it up. Well, if that's, that's the case, pretty, then it's actually that, kind of funny. It is actually pretty funny. Okay. I just had thought that they just, like, like there's someone who just decided to make them. See, there's see, something. There's, there's a little, there's a little silver lining on this uh, cloud well, here. Okay, mm-hmm. I mean, if that's how it is, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's actually clever. That, That'd that's, be cool. I think that's how it happened. Anyway, um, there is one other thing I wanted to say. Is that at first it yeah. really annoyed me that hmm. Celestia and Luna were at this fucking wedding. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, why are all the princesses at this fucking podunk ass wedding? And, and they're like, and they're like. Oh, Luna, you, you got you brought a gift to Twilight and Cadence, so now it's your yeah. turn, Celestia. Like what? It's been like two. It's been like a year, and and there's been yeah. one wedding. Like they've attended. There's been exactly one wedding. Well, first of I all, mean, they're here at this uh-oh. podunk wedding. Does that mean they attend every wedding in Equestria? And there's oh, only really been important? one in the whole. I thought of this too, but what's the big deal? Okay, maybe they do go to every well, wedding. My, there's not that many. My. The explanation I finally worked out in my head is, well, Cranky, and the mayor seems to confirm this, Cranky is sort of famous-ish, like his story of, like, searching for lost oh, love yeah, seems kinda. to be at least a little bit legendary. Also, he seems to have had lots of great adventures, so maybe he knew the princesses? That's true. I mean, th- that could happen. I, so I, I, I guess if you're hung up about it, then you sure, there's your explanation. I was a, li- I I was a little a hung shit. up about it, but I thought about it, and I was like, well, that could be. That could make sense. Now, what I liked about that scene yeah. was I thought this was some of that... I remember, the- like, when Celeste just sipped the tea and then tricked the cakes into refilling it and was like, gotcha, and then the other episode laughed at Twilight? I thought this was another little cool moment of character development for the for the princess sisters. They just... We got a little sneak oh, peek into their relationship. Just kind of sort arguing. Of, just kind of arguing about... Yeah, you gifts. know, just being sisters. I thought that was cool. I don't think we've ever seen that before. Um... I guess you're right. That was that was pretty good. Yeah. So you know, I, I liked it. I liked I, it. Yeah, it was. And too, Cadence I was, was here, and I didn't hate her because she was there for like two seconds. I was too that was busy. Great. Be, I was too busy being like, oh, they shouldn't be here, but <laughs> well, to think about it. But yeah, no, they were good. I'm gonna say this was Cadence's best appearance in the entire series <laughs> yeah. because it was so brief. Oh, oh yeah, um, he's like, 
Shining Arm was there too. Shining Arm is crying, and she's like, he always cries at weddings, but usually not un- not until the wedding starts. I really thought that was going to go somewhere. Like there was it actually something wrong. That that was the punchline. But somewhere. no, it was just it was just a joke. Whatever. Yeah, good good one. <laughs> good, good one. <laughs> no, so all right. That's I, I think it. I got nothing else. I to think say. we've said it all, Keg. I think we've really. I, me, I think we really set the record straight on on this. I think I think we did. Yeah. Now I, I wanna I wanna sum this this bad boy way up this episode felt to me like it was aimed at i'm gonna say 11 year old children who have read fan fiction Uh, and are familiar with all these characters and they've got their little ideas of what they're gonna be like and they decided to make this one for them they're gonna take them they're gonna confirm them and that's what it is this episode is them confirming things that you had thought before and no else and, and no more than that it was just well it was just the bare minimum in my opinion i don't think they did anything above and beyond the call of duty for the thing they set out to do i guess they succeeded if their goal was simply to make these things canon but just a big waste of time, in my opinion. <laughs> I learned nothing. That's actually I learned that's nothing. a little harsher than I would be. I was gonna say that. Kind of agree. This episode. I kind of hate this, this episode. episode. I kind of hate it. I kind of do too. I kind of hate it too. I just feel like my time was robbed from me. This e- I could have been jacking off this entire time. This episode was exactly what I thought it would be. It was yep, just you know yep. lots of fan theories being confirmed. With a couple, which is boring, a couple yep. of them, be not not a lot of meaningful expansion upon most of them. A couple of them were humorously inverted, like Bon yep. Bon being a secret agent, or Sweet. Gummy. You know, some yep. some worked. Gummies was Gummy good. worked. Gummies was good. Bon Bon being a secret agent didn't. I thought it was like the stupidest thing ever. Um, yep. They did nothing with it. It will never come up again. Ep- I guarantee. Episode it. was was boring, dumb, stupid. <sighs> You know what my problem was? I didn't, my problem I didn't was like I expected it. it to be filled with things like the gummy moments. It had its moments, but I didn't like it. That's it. I I'm, I don't know. I'm giving it like a I'm giving it a four out of ten. And if it didn't have the gummy thing, it'd be like a two out of ten. I'd give it a th- I'd give it like a three or a four. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we confirmed that your favorite episode is shit. Everyone, thanks for watching. Yep. yep. Thanks, Hasbro. <laughs> you really fucking did it. And now, and you know what? We're never getting another episode like this. There's never going to be a focus on any of these characters again. It was all spent, and it was wasted. <laughs> Shit. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>